In this video, we will be discussing how to properly mount the Pixel TOC box. We will first start by going over the components that make up the Pixel TOC box. Next, we will review the packaging of the Pixel TOC box and what to expect when shipped from elevator controls. Then, we will go over how to physically install the Pixel TOC box. And last, we will talk about the wire harness that goes from the TOC to the COP. With Pixel, you have the option of electing the Pixel top of the car box. This box includes the following. Travel termination, which also contains terminals for both the COP interconnection and cab lights and fan terminals. The Pixel TOC board, or PTOC, which is one of the three points of access in Pixel, giving you access to controller parameter adjustments and diagnostics for troubleshooting. Next, we have the 24 volt DC power supply, then the pre-wired car top inspection station, and last, the light and service outlet. When you receive your Pixel control system, verify the following items have been included in the freight. The ECC pre-wired TOC box, if the option has been selected, the TOC to COP color-coded wire harness, and a set of boxes that include both the Landa and TOC mounting hardware. After verifying the components are all there, remove the light bulb mesh protection from inside the Pixel TOC box and mount it to the top as indicated. Next, locate the box labeled 24-006-006 TOC box car top mounting assembly and remove the mounting brackets from inside the box. The box will contain two sets of 24 inch long unit struts, four rail clips, and eight sets of screws, washers, and spring nuts. Before we begin mounting the Pixel TLC box, go to page QR6 of the Pixel controller prints and review the detailed mounting instructions. Remember to keep in mind the location of the Pixel TLC box should be within a 16 foot reach of where you will be installing Landa. The following lengths should be taken into consideration when mounting the Pixel TOC box flush with the mounting brackets. The one inch gap from the front of the unistrut to the center of the first spring nut where the Pixel TOC box will be placed. The four inches between the center of the spring nuts used to mount the Pixel TOC box to the two pieces of unistrut. And the 16 inches from the center of one unistrut to the center of the next. And here we have an image of a final Pixel TOC box mounting. Once the Pixel TOC box is mounted, let's move over to the Pixel controller prints and go to page QR2 to review the TOC to COP harness provided by elevator controls. This harness is 15 feet in length, but is also available in a 25 foot length. The harness is completely color coded as indicated by the prints. Now if we take a look in the COP, this harness routes from the terminals provided by the COP manufacturer to the travel terminations in the Pixel TOC box. Once the TOC to COP harness is routed and wired, continue on to the next video presentation, installing and verifying Landa.